Hello and welcome to our special episode today as we review continents and start talking about the continent that we live on. This is part of our study of geography as we look at the world together. First of all, let's think back. What is a continent? A continent is a big piece of land on Earth. The outer layer is broken into several large plates that fit together like a puzzle, and they're made up of solid rock. The continents sit on top of these plates, and they're always moving and changing. Sometimes they even crash into each other, forming mountains and causing earthquakes. We've talked about seven continents. They are all unique and have their own features, such as different animals, plants, climates, and cultures. And this year we're going to take a look at each continent. We're going to start with North America, which of course is the continent that we live on. Then we'll look at South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and last but not least, Antarctica. Our focus today is going to be on North America. North America started out with inhabitants that were indigenous people who came across a land bridge from Asia around 12,000 years ago. Today, as we know, North America is a major economic and cultural center with a thriving entertainment industry, world-class universities, and a very diverse population. As we study North America, we're going to apply the five themes of geography that we've been learning about. Location, which is where is it? Place, what is it like there? Region, what are some similarities or things an area has in common? Movement, movement of people, goods, and ideas. And HEI, or human environmental interaction. As we study each continent, we will apply our understanding of these five themes. Looking at the continents, I've circled North America on the map. When we're talking about location, we're talking about where is it. North America is found above South America. It's west of Europe. Looking at this map, we can identify both location and region of North America. On this map, we have the equator identified, so it helps us to see that North America is in the northern hemisphere. We also see with the prime meridian labeled that North America is in the Western Hemisphere. Both of these things help us further identify location. Looking at location, we can look at relative location, like we just mentioned. North America is above South America. It's west of Europe. It's between the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. It is in the Northern Hemisphere. It's in the Western Hemisphere. We can also talk about absolute location if we take a look at those lines of latitude and longitude using coordinates, which we'll practice that a little bit later. As far as region, when we talk about North America as a continent, that's a region. We could also say a region are the continents or landforms or countries found in the Northern Hemisphere or in the Western Hemisphere. We're going to talk about region a little bit more in just a couple minutes, but for now, we're going to focus on the region of North America as a continent. Just a few facts about North America before we get started. There are 23 countries in North America. And I bet you uh, some of you are surprised by that because usually we think of the three large ones, which is what we'll talk about in just a minute. As far as land size, it's about 24.5 million square kilometers. North America is the third largest continent in the world. About 592 million people live in North America. It's the fourth most populated continent in the world. As far as climate, we're going to find a diverse range of climates in North America, all the way from the freezing tundra of the northern Canada to the tropical rainforest found in Central America. And there's lots of famous landmarks in North America. I bet you can even name a few. Looking at a map of North America, as we see here, there are in fact 23 countries that are part of North America. I've put the three in bold that we most often think of. Canada, the United States, and Mexico. 
But North America also includes Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Cuba, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, the Bahamas, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, Grenada, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Antigua, and Barbuda, and St. Kitts and Nevis. So that's a mouthful, and that's a lot of countries. As I mentioned before, we're really going to focus on the larger countries of Canada, United States, and Mexico to begin with, but we'll take a look at some of these other countries too. You might also have noticed that there's a land mass that is part of North America called Greenland. Greenland has a special story. That actually belongs to Denmark, and we'll look at a little bit about that in a few days. This map also shows us coordinates which could help us identify absolute location on this map. Now we talked about region and I said we're focusing on the continent region of North America, but specifically together we're going to start off by looking at the cultural region of North America, which will include Canada and the United States together. We'll mention Greenland briefly. And we're going to wait and talk about Mexico more later because Mexico shares a lot of common characteristics of culture with Central and South America. So we're going to study North, Central, and South America, but we're going to put it together into cultural regions as we take a closer look. The next steps that you're going to complete as part of today's lesson is you're going to complete an Ed Puzzle about North America you'll be able to find that link on Canvas. Please make sure you watch the video carefully and answer all of the questions. This will be counted as a grade. Once you finish the Ed Puzzle, you need to pick up a map of North America. On the map, it directs you to use colors to label the map. Make sure you also use the colors to fill in your map key. As I mentioned before, we're really gonna focus on the three largest countries at this point, and we'll add some more detail later. Once you've completed this map, please put this map in your binder. This map is going to serve as the first page of our unit on North America. We'll be adding more to this section as we learn more about our continent. Thanks for tuning in to McHold Productions and have a groovy day.